Recent news reports confirm what many have alleged for over a year. British Petroleum's Macondo well has site has never stopped leaking. The mainstream media blackout on this subject is keeping the public unaware of continuing tragedy and preventing another uh, communal outcry for the accountability from the government as well as big oil. AP, AFP has followed this story closely and can now confirm that not only was the Deepwater Horizon incident underreported in scope, this botched drilling job causes, continues to destroy the food supply, ecosystem, and human lives each day. This reporter has been communicating with a source from the Gulf Spill uh, Remediation Conference who said in April that the Gulf of Mexico is the most fractured seafloor in the world. Now this insider has gone further saying that the ocean floor will leak forever unless the earth can seal itself with an earthquake. The source who's requested an amenity for personal safety directed this reporter to an article at Global Research in which the case for multiple and multiplying leaks is made with expert scientific precision. The article states that when the well was capped, putting the system back under pressure forced the upsurging hydrocarbons to find weaknesses throughout the greater system, which revealed all sorts of compromised, fractured, and unsettled geology. <clears throat> it, went, it went on to report, under high pressure it will find every point of egress through the rock and sediment formations all the way to the seafloor where it will find any point of exit that is available. The longer and more forceful that it flows throughout the fractured area, which is dependent on the volume, temperature, and pressure at the source of the hydrocarbons, the more corrosive effects will widen, broaden, and enlarge the channels, cracks, crevices throughout the subfloor geology, thereby creating a uh, predicament that no science, technology, or equipment can remedy. Bonnie Shoemaker, founder of On Wings of Care, recently wrote about her flyover of the Gulf region. On August 19th, she reported, Today we flew over 500 miles over the Gulf to check more reports of oil. We didn't even get to some of the places reported because it just in a few hours we already had found plenty in at least four distinct locations, all within 75 miles of the shores of Louisiana. She continued, We found significant amounts of oil in globular form still at the Deepwater Horizon site and at the Taylor Energy site, and we saw miles-long surface rainbow sheens of two different leaking platforms between Deep Water Horizon and the Chandler Islands. When this reporter asked her about her leaks in the Gulf Seafloor, Mrs. Shoemaker discussed how often she sees oil residues when flying over the Gulf, she said. If BP officials can't see anything from the air with their own eyes, can we trust what they claim to see or didn't see under the water? Ms. Shoemaker also pointed out that the report that new oil samples with the, the Moncondo site. On August 25th, the mobile press register stated that it collected samples and had them tested by chemist Ed Overton and Scott Miles at the Louisiana State University, who did much of the chemical work by federal officials to fingerprint the BP oil known as MC-252. The story quoted Overton as saying, after examining, examining the data, I think it is a dead ringer for the MC-252 oil, and a good match as I have seen. All of this validates what this reporter and the APF have been covering for months. It seems conclusive that the event, that even if the actual drill site Deepwater Horizon has been successfully capped, which I highly doubt, the damage has done by BP and the U.S. government approval is too extensive to be stopped. The size of the, the Macondo well and, and its explosive pressure has been unleashed, breaking through the surface at every point of least resistance, poisoning the gulf with every passing moment. Enjoy your seafood.